Well, during this lovely rad storm, we will be exploring University Point, but more importantly, the unmarked location of Sidgvig Hall. Let's get right into it. Inside, we'll get Campbell's password to get his awesome laser pistol over in the Credit Union. Some of you may have already seen Campbell's lab, so this is where we'll get the password. As well as Gerald's barricade key, Tesla magazine, a mini nuke, and Jack's note, uh, or Jack Clean's. Inside the toilet here, you don't want to uh, be needing to go here because when you do that, boom, the wee explosive is set off by this little triggered trap. So, toilet's out of the way. You'll notice most of the doors here are barred. There's an expert lock gate there. This is a master lock door. And, uh, well, our only route then is up. And as we go exploring, scents will just start getting up and uh, coming right for you. So, if they're not that friendly, you will, of course, have to deal with all of them. Now, this seems to be some form of workshop where they were breaking things down. You have to remember that University Point was a thriving uh, settlement before the uh, synths came along. Then we've got Gerald's terminal as well as his barricade key. And considering we're in the business of doing quite a lot of reading towards uh, Far Harbour, we may as well. A few more videos in Far Harbour, I cannot wait. University Logs. So Gerald, I think, was the mayor, if I'm correct. Josephine, I don't know what to do. Our daughter found something in the ruins, some sort of data. A man came to town and said he was from the Institute. Gerald is not the mayor. He threatened the mayor and the town is an uproar. Yep, he's definitely not the guy. Uh, he is um, the father of the girl that kind of caused all this, uh, Jacqueline. Uh, we don't know if this guy is real or not, but he seems dangerous and the rumours around town are worse. Someone accused Jacqueline or ja Jacqueline. This is why I always look up pronunciation. It's actually Jacqueline. So that's, that's, it looks like Jacqueline or something. Uh, yeah, you can tell I'm over here in Europe. So, uh, yeah, uh, Jacqueline here, or Jacqueline, uh, of being a synth. People, she's grown up with her whole life, and now they want, oh, people she's grown up with her whole life. And now they want to give her th to this man or throw it out of the town. Uh, she actually did it. You'd be so proud, that's what she likes to go by now. Well, she found her old notes about the mail relay and begged me for weeks to take her into the flooded area when I went to hunt lurks so she could try and find the parts she needed. Well, she must have found what you'd been looking for because she actually got the mail relay working because they were able to extend messages between one another. Um, it was quite a sophisticated settlement. They mainly prioritised razor grain. Uh, so we can send letters across town, not sure why we wouldn't have just walked over to the person, but it's certainly more than I was doing at 14. And then, he must be talking, I'm going to guess his wife's dead at this point. Um, and this is just him kind of talking to her. It's been, wow, I predicted, I didn't even read that bit. Uh, Josephine, it's been three years since you died and I still think about you every day. I wish you could have seen how much uh, Jacqueline has grown. Last week was her sixth birthday and I gave her your old toolbox and uh, she dismantled stuff. So she seemed to be quite the engineer. And then, of course, in the, the relay here, we can see his messages, uh, which we read during Campbell's library, where he's, he's kind of talking to everyone here. So, you know, get out while you can. What has your daughter done? A lot of things going on in Gerald's terminal. I just read them in a previous video, so we can mosey on. Be sure to grab your laser pistol, pre-war money, and hello, synth. Yep. There's a lot of high-level ones walking about here. If you want to use the elevator to get to the roof, uh, get to the roof. If you want to use the elevator to get to the ground level, simply read her terminal here. She has a wee bit of a journal here. Um, I'm assuming it goes from top to bottom, so we'll read it through. Mum's birthday was yesterday. Dad and I left flowers on her grave. He was telling stories about her, and I kind of mentioned that I don't remember what she looked like. He said it was okay, but I can hear him sobbing in his room. Ah, I can't take this right now. I'm going to go scavenging in the flooded area. Still haven't replaced my secondary hard disk after it blew. Maybe I can find a new one. Sylvia also said her network port has been acting up. Good find. Looks like my dad stopped crying. Hope he didn't realise he snuck back there by myself. I've gotten so good that the lurks don't even know I'm there. I didn't manage to find a replacement port for Sylvia, but I did... Managed to pull a hard disk out of a large console in one of the lecture halls. Some of the data going to it seems to be intact. I'm going to poke around, reformat it, maybe there's something interesting on. 
score. This is big. I managed to get part of the data off and it seems some research about reactor efficiency. Part of it was corrupt, but I might be able to find the rest somewhere else. There was a caravan passing, so I figured I might get or I'd see what I might get if I could find the rest of it. He said to the right person it might be worth several hundred caps. We agreed to a 2575 cut if he can find a bar. Now I just need to figure out where the rest of the data is. Ah, uh, I haven't been able to make any progress with the data and the lurks have started laying eggs again. To make matters worse, Dad just got back from some council meeting and somehow found out I'd been searching the flooded area. He locked everything up and said I'm not allowed to scavenge. I tried to explain about the data and he listened, but then he started acting weird and told me to go to my room and not come down. So, obviously... Oh god, what did I do? I've been getting mail from everyone in town saying the institute is coming and asking if it's my fault. Someone even accused me of being a synth. Somehow they must have found out about the right actor research, but it's not even complete. Dad said that it was probably some scammer or raider trying to trick us. What is really the... What if it really is the institute? Obviously the institute was kind of regarded as like a boogeyman. So, uh, yeah, we'll play the tape here. Is it playing? I don't think it's playing. Nope, not playing. Okay. Bit strange, but anyway. Uh, so you can open it and jump down here. Now, what I should have done was show you the Tesla magazine, but anyway. It's, uh, it's okay. The barricades separate the building into two bits, so there's the flooded marlurk infested bit, which obviously we're in. And if you go over to this room here, you can get yourself a duffel bag, some weapons, ammo, and a little safe if you want to unlock that. Move over to the next floor, you can find someone was doing a little light maintenance before, well, of course, things uh, went south. I would say some of these skeletons are pre-war, and I would say some of them are after the synths uh, attacked, and obviously using Gerald's barricade key, we can dip in and out. So I'm back into the first area just to go up to the third level to so show you the Tesla magazine, which can be found right over here. It gives you uh, plus 5% to critical damage on energy weapons, which is pretty cool. I have a video on all the comics if uh, that's something you're looking for. Military grade circuit board and uh, just a few other pieces again. This must have been one of her workshops where she would have tinkered with uh, all of the devices here. All right, now you can exit out onto the roof as there's three entrances. Obviously the bottom one, there's this one and there's one out to the rear to the flooded area. And then we've got this little room in here. A few bourbon vodka, someone who decided to wait it out here. The skeletons, unfortunately, we don't actually find the remains of... Uh, anyone you know they're just all skeletons so we don't really know if anyone survived if anyone got out let's assume most of them probably are you know pretty much dead by this point we can read her note we've got the professor's terminal the professor of course being uh campbell you want it you want the mini nuke ah, i see he walked away there steamer trunk as well up here uh so let's have a wee read of professor campbell's uh terminal here because obviously he was designing like a laser pistol. He didn't finish it, but his protégés, they both did when they were trapped in the bunker in the credit union, hidden behind a secret door in the uh, the vault safe. Or the, the safe in the credit union vault. There we go, we got it in the end. So yeah, research notes on energy. Really, Alan, you're going to throw away, or you're going through my terminal now. I told you the research was classified. Quit being a pathetic worm and rem <laughs> just do your own business. Nice. Lecture plans, uh, grade vacuum tube circuit layouts and in-class review for midterm. Graduate class is continued a lecture last week about sub-wavelength phenomena and plasmonic excitations. Discuss for concepts that may be used in the future for more optimized circuitry. Remind Curtis that he should find out when Leslie's birthday is and that if he, she wanted to meet him at the credit union at 8pm because the password for the vault is uh, obviously the, uh, that is the password. Yes, I think it. I think it tells you or it informs you that the password's there, or you can read through all of these. How long here? Lab time took me forever to figure out what you meant about Leslie's birthday. It was a good idea, but we haven't been dating that long. I had to look it up. Oh, so Curtis and Leslie—they're the two that were stuck, and they ended up finishing the laser pistol that you can pick up, uh, which is pretty awesome. Check out the video Campbell's Lab or uh, the University Credit Union on the channel if you want to know how to get it. Of course, you get the password here. I had to look it up in the student records in the front office. Don't tell her that. Anyway, while I was there, I uh, overheard Dean Patterson has an, uh, 
alumni alumni D dinner this weekend so he should be out of your hair nice uh, I've got you now you snake you think I wouldn't notice how often you visit the credit union I'm sure it's merely a coincidence your graduate student Miss Matthews is always on shift when you get something from your safe you think it wouldn't reach me that you and she disappear for hours in the safe if you don't tell me what the construction was and what your research is about I'll be going straight to the press and the police so the Dean's not too happy about that so, Professor Campbell, I understand the need for secrecy, sir, but you don't. But don't you think that we could get more work done if you gave Leslie and I access to the research without having you be there? That accident was weeks ago, and you said yourself it was due to a bad fuse. Leslie said that she saw the dean sulking around the area yesterday, and it's going to get harder to get work done if he's trailing you all the time. Colonel Rosemont sounded pretty serious about wanting the research as soon as possible. So he's kind of doing a bit of research for the army under the nose of the dean of the university who's not happy about all this. So we're building up a bit of a story here. God damn it, Stuart. You aren't worming your way out of this. Cur this Colonel Roseman you insist that I needed clearance from is nearly as insufferable as you are. When I went to see him, he claimed your research was classified and it escorted me from the base. You think you're so clever, but I know this is just one of your old army buddies helping you out. Don't think I won't be talking to our lawyers. Mr. Campbell, first of all, you do not have my permission to call me by my first name. I am the Dean and you would do well to remember that. Secondly, what is this I've been hearing about you and officers from the army performing unauthorized construction under the administration building while I was on vacation? This is unacceptable. You need to explain to me at once what you're researching. Mr. Campbell, it has come to my attention you were contacted by the army regarding your research. I run this university and I have the right to know and approve research programs. I know your colleagues hold you in high regard and that when we brought you on last year, your contract guaranteed your tenure. Uh, but you don't want to make an issue of this. I am leaving this afternoon vacation. When I get back, I expect to be fully appraised of the research. Uh, so we read it basically backwards. Uh, but then, so oh, we read the research notes. So we've pretty much covered that. I think you do get the password from his terminal there. But yeah, so they're doing a bit of research for the army on this bad boy. This is actually the laser pistol that you can pick up. It's uh, it's pretty tough. It's pretty awesome. I think it's called the Prototype UP-77 Limitless Potential. It's a rapid fire one, so it's pretty beastly. It's, it's uh, detonating these guys. Okay, glow alert kind of, yeah. The, these guys just kind of shrugged it off. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, jumping across here, we can find ourselves a little Vault Tech lunchbox. I know lo lots of you love collecting it. And I got a noodle cup. Boo. Anyway, I'll be doing a wee video soon on finding all of, you know, the little models. I love them. I wish there was more exactly like that in game. Oh, an industrial grade Abraxo cleaner. Things you love to find. All right, so we're into one of the final rooms. From here, you can. Uh, Exit into another little office. Not much going on here. Someone that just decided to uh, to camp it out here uh, when everything went to hell. Now, let's reach the bottom level where we kind of loop back around like most dungeons in Fallout. This is the Dean's Terminal. So we kind of get a wee bit of perspective from him on the university mail. Although, I think it's people... Uh, yeah, let's see. So this was sent on the 8th to the 12th. And this was sent on the... Oh. There we go. We'll start from here. Alan, I am under no illusions that the real reason you wanted to bring me on as head of the department was for business contracts from the private sector. Just accept the grant money and let me do my research. I'm sure you'll skim some off for a new scoreboard or something equally useless. Oh, and I'm certain when you get back from your vacation and read this, you'll check my contract and find that I do have the authority to negotiate and accept grants for my department. Enjoy. Uh, Professor Campbell, he called him Alan, that's why I got pissed off. So, construction under the admin. Dean Patterson, do you know what exactly the army is constructing under the admin building? They are making an awful lot of noise with those jackhammers. They told me they went through Professor Campbell for inquiries, but he said it was classified. I asked if you authorised this and the check is contract. Well, legal did and said that it's kind of a grey area that his lawyers added during negotiations. They also said that they tried to bring it up to you at the time, but that you went ahead and signed it. I hope the grant money is worth all the hassle. 
Sorry, Alan, but the deal is done. As legal has probably told you by now, the military tends to get a bit upset if you try to wiggle out of a contract with them. And no, I can't tell you where the lab is or what my research is because you don't have clearance. You'll need to take it up with Colonel Rosemont. Why are you making this personal? The university is making a bunch of money on this. The new research will be declassified eventually, in which case it would make you even more brilliant. I'm sorry, sir, but I wasn't able to get Colonel Rosemont on the phone for you. They kept redirecting my call for hours, and when I finally reached him and asked to put you on, he just said that he would save you both time and confirm that you don't have clearance, and he hung up. I tried to call back, but they said that he's not taking any more calls right now, and if you want to speak with him, you'll need to drive out to the base, which he did not see said no. You said to contact me if I saw Professor Campbell doing anything strange. Well, he's been going to the student credit union most evenings, and I also saw him with Leslie Matthews going over there on his way to, or on my way to basketball practice. Isn't that one of his grade grad student students? Oh, and Sandra said he's been asking at student records to find out Leslie's birthday. What's up with that? So we could probably talk about that academic probation now. <laughs> so that must have been a wee student doing a wee bit of snitching on uh, Professor Campbell. Master lock door, once you open it, kind of just loops you back to the front here. So we have covered Sidvig Hall. It's been quite fun. Again, a few more locations. We're going to Far Harbour. I promise you that. Thank you for watching. See you all, of course, in the next one.